In this video, we'll learn how to customize a text easily and dynamically in Affinity. So to customize a text, it's pretty simple. First of all, let's create a background for this artboard. So to create a background, let's navigate up to pixels and navigate down to new field layer. And now it has been added as a background. So it is equivalent to the solid color adjustment layer, which we create in Photoshop to add a background or a rectangle shape layer that we create in Illustrator to add a background. However, the best part in Affinity is, Affinity understands that the fill layer that we have created is meant to be a background. So it automatically locks it by default as soon as we create it, so that it do not play as a hindrance during our workflows while creating anything. So now let's proceed further and add a text so to add a text navigate down to our artistic text tool select the artistic text tool and after selecting the artistic text tool simply click on any point right here at your artboard now let's type in text t e x t text and we can also give any color to the text right now as you can see that our color that we have selected is green so it has placed or filled the text with the green color as a default however after creating or typing a new text we can simply select the text and then change it to any other color in this case i'll change it to white now you can see that our color has been changed now let's align this text to the center of the artboard by navigate up to alignment tool and navigating it centrally in both horizontal and vertical directions so now our text has been centered so now the next step is to duplicate our text layer so to duplicate simply click on the text layer and hold down the command key and press on j key and now our text layer has been duplicated we are doing this duplication because once we start editing the text or customizing the text, we cannot revert it back to its original text state where we can change the text type and all those. Due to this reason, we are making a duplication of this particular text layer. Now, after making a duplication or after duplicating the text layer, the next thing is let's hide this previous text layer and by selecting our newly duplicated text layer now right click on the text layer and navigate down to convert to curves now click on convert to curves and what converting to curves does is it changes our text into a shape and allows us to customize and modify different anchor points that we have in this text so let's zoom it and after zooming in you can see that we have a new group of text created from our previous text layer so this happens as soon as we convert our text layer to curves now you can see that each individual character has been separated as a shape and has been separated as each individual layers and on the left in our text you can see different anchor points right here which has been activated after we have converted it to a text like so now all we can do is adjust this individual anchor points in our individual character of the text to customize our text so we can simply click and select an individual anchor point and simply adjust its position and we can convert our text like this now i'll undo our current repositioning of these points now the next thing is we need to select or we need to adjust the anchor points for each individual character of the text so we need to select each individual text or shape of the character in order to customize the anchor points to change the shape of the text however if we want to change the shape of the text 
or customize the shape of the text for every individual character altogether. All we can do is click or select an individual character and then hold down the shift key and click on the end character and in this way we can select all the characters that we have right here by selecting text character that we have converted to shape in the layers panel now we can select all the anchor points and then modify them all at once in order to stretch the text or in order to reposition them as per our liking however i'll undo it for now and let us modify or change or customize the text individually so for that we'll simply click onto one individual character shape and now i'll zoom in and we'll simply click on this particular anchor point and by holding down the shift key let's move it backwards and adjust the anchor point like so and let's similarly adjust the anchor point for other individual text as well so i'll click on these anchor points and by holding down the shift key and arrow key i'll move them and one thing to note here is that when you hold down the shift key it simply increases our interval or our distance of our movement of the anchor point and if we release this shift key and press the arrow key it reduces our distance of the movement of our anchor point so to move in a greater distance or reposition in a greater distance all you have to do is hold down the shift key and the arrow key and this will cover up more distance while we reposition any anchor points and similarly we can do it for x as well simply select two anchor points here and i'll be holding down the shift key and or pressing the left arrow key to reposition our text like so and we'll do the same thing for the last character t shape and i'll click on the anchor point and by holding down the shift key i'll simply press on the left arrow key five times one two three four five and you can see that we can now adjust our anchor point like this and customize our text however i want to make the anchor point much more similar to our first t so i'll hold down the shift key again and press the left arrow key two times and now our final t also copies the similar appearance as our first t character shape so this is how you can customize your shape in affinity very much easily and the next thing i want to note here is that when customizing each individual anchor point of the text you have to select this particular node tool in order to select individual anchor point and customize it and if you have previous experience in using programs like illustrator and photoshop you might have noticed something like called direct selection tool and the node tool in affinity is similar to direct selection tool which allows to adjust or which allows to control individual anchor points in affinity so in this way you can customize the text in affinity and i'll uncollapse our text group right here i'll also rename the text to let's say text shape text shape and the next thing is now i'll unhide our text layer that we hid previously which is a customizable text and i'll simply click on it and then I'll adjust its color to something else. So I'll set a new color by going to eyedropper tool and picking the background color. So I want to give a shadow to a customized text. So in order to do that, I'll simply adjust the color now in here. As you can see here, I want to accentuate and make the text a little more visible. And I think this also looks kind of cool. So this is how you can use this technique to adjust or customize 
your text in Affinity. If you find this video helpful, please click on the like button. And to get more tips and tricks related to Affinity, hit the subscribe button. Thank you for watching this video and see you on the next video.